I recently went to the city of croissants, sparkling water, and overpriced fashion items, Paris. As part of French Design Week, I visited one of the world's most premier interior fairs, Maison et Objet. While at the fair, I scouted out the latest product design trends coming out of Western Europe, including the Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, Spain, and of course, France. To save you the trip, I've compiled a list of seven design trends I saw at Maison Objet 2023. So let's get into it and see the hottest trends coming out of the Western Europe design scene. Let's go. As always on some great things, we'll be looking at forms, details, finishes, and sustainability. So moving on to the first form trend that was flowing form. Flowing forms are forms that are not really square, spherical, or cylindrical. So think less Bauhaus, more Art Nouveau. What I really like about this form is it's a bit more free flowing. It's more loosey goosey. It feels a bit more relaxed, but it also still has some structure to it. It's kind of like your super chill art teacher in high school that just wants you to explore your feelings. <laughs> That's a bad one. I think the reason that you're seeing this is we're slowly moving out of the super minimal, super structured era. Not really complex yet, but uh, we're getting there. It's like Bauhaus with a little bit more spice to it, you know? So moving on to the next form trend I saw, dowel architecture. And what you're seeing in the Maison AMJ is a lot of furniture and home pieces that are based on the architecture of this long wooden cylinder kind of thing. And this can be multiplied and modified in order to create different kinds of products. What I like about this is this nice contrast to the, the flowing forms you see in the fair. It's way more structured. What's also nice about it is it's easy to design and build with, but it makes things feel more complex than they really are. I think we're seeing this because there's a bit of a trend towards more natural materials. This is an easy way to use wood that looks clean and also contemporary. So now that we've done the two form trends, let's move on to the details trends. First detail trend I have today is actually a fabric material, which is boucle. I'm getting really good at saying these French words. Boucle is this fabric that kind of looks like it has bits and pieces. It's really soft and fuzzy. It kind of almost looks like it's falling apart, but on purpose, like in a nice way. I definitely saw this everywhere at the show, especially furniture, but even lamps and other accessory pieces. It's really nice because it makes a big surface more interesting. Like if you have a big couch with a big surface area, it's something you can kind of stare at for hours if you really want to. Not that you should or that you do want to, but you could. It's also got this really nice, soft, inviting feeling to it. It's got these like teddy bear vibes. Like you just want to get up and squeeze it and like touch everything. Maybe even like cuddly, you know? You want to cuddle with it? You want to cuddle? Cuddle with the little thing? Boucle is an easy way to make a minimal product a bit more interesting without really changing the form all that much. Even though this is kind of a traditional fabric, I think this fits with contemporary designs a lot because it's something really inviting and approachable. And I think you're seeing a lot more of that in the design space these days. So moving on from Boucle into our next detail trend, which is deep textures. Surfaces with like this really intense texture pattern. It's usually not that directional, like not like a line texture, but really these more like anisotropic textures that don't really have a direction. It's usually a pretty deep texture. Like it's, I'd say it's like probably like a millimeter or so. Visually, this makes surfaces a lot more interesting. Physically, it's very touchable. A lot of the stuff you just kind of this instinct to grab it. Like this lamp, I think I touched and I got a weird look. It's also really nice if you need something with some grip, like this phone case. It also gives the product more visual depth. It feels very deep and like there's a lot going on below the surface. So more kind of like a deep soul song that makes you feel something. Having a deep texture is a great way to make an interesting object while keeping a minimal form. I think you're also seeing this because there's new manufacturing techniques. For example, I talked to this company that makes these handbags and they use a special process to imprint this texture on real leather. So moving on from details, we have our finishes. I saw a lot of colors of the show but there's one that instantly stuck with me as being in trend at the show and that was this kind of Brick, dirt, natural red. Brick red is like a darker, deeper red. It's less saturated. What I really like about this is it feels very natural. It's got like a really earthy clay feeling to it. It's also very warm and inviting. 
all the brick red couches you want to sink into a bit soothing too it's also really interesting without being too extreme i think contemporary design doesn't get too loud and too wild you know maybe this warm soothing feeling also helps people deal with the craziness of modern life so the second finished trend i saw is also another color and that is the one and only purple Maybe even it's like a purpley purple, like a very purple purple. As the French maybe say, purpel. Probably not. They probably don't say that. Sorry. There's like a lot of kinds of purple you see. But when you say purple purple, you're talking about purple purple. Like it's super saturated, super loud, super wild. And anytime you pass by a booth at the show, I think you, these colors really stuck out. For instance, this booth by Fest was basically just like a purple couch and it was getting a lot of looks. It's a really exciting color. Something about the purple just gets your blood going. It's just not an ordinary design or ordinary product when it's purple. And what I also like about it is it feels very luxurious. It feels like drinking expensive champagne, but for your eyeballs. I think maybe there's a bit of an identity crisis in the luxury market. So I think purple is an attempt to try to figure out what luxury is gonna do. Something like tasty about it. You just wanna lick the color. Like this couch, you just wanna lick it. Anyway. That was forms, details, and finishes. And now we're moving on to the last trend, which is in sustainability. To be honest, this wasn't really everywhere, but I really fell in love with this recycle aesthetic. Recycled materials are blocks of materials made from waste materials. The material I really loved was the material from Austria, which is actually a French company called Austria. It's made from discarded shells and it's turned into this pearly, marbly board material. What I like about this material is it's really complex looking the surface has so much depth to it and it also has this like kind of luxurious feeling that you don't get with other recycled plastics i really think that has to do with uh, all that shell material kind of like refracting the light in the way it does a lot of companies are looking for new materials and i think they're trying to create something of high quality and low impact so this is definitely the right time for materials like this to come out so that's it for the trends I saw at Maison ALG in Paris, France. The forms, details, and finish. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the latest trends coming out of France and Western Europe. So well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the hottest trends coming out of France and Western Europe. I have some more shows planned in the next few months. So if there's anything you're interested in learning about or seeing, let me know. So see you later. Until next time, au revoir. I literally wrote or. Eh, va. See ya!